The Kauai District Health Office today reported 39 new COVID cases and two deaths. To talk about that, we're now joined live by Kauai County Mayor Derek Kawakami. Mayor, always good to see you. Thank you for your time. Now, while cases there are trending downward, there have now been 26 deaths in the county, seven in just the past two weeks. Just how concerned are you about those numbers? Well, anytime we lose a member of our community, it's a, it's a great loss to everyone, especially to the friends and family of that person that passed away. And so, you know, we continue to um, tell everybody to be vigilant. Um, and although our fatality rate is much lower than the statewide average, uh, you know, this is a small community. And so we're all impacted by it. I know the people who passed were all in their 60s or older. Do you have any idea if they had underlying conditions as well? No, they don't disclose that information to us. Uh, Mayor, you know, I know that you folks have limited ICU beds at Wilcox. So what is the situation like there right now? Well, you know, we've been through the worst of it. We went through both the Delta and the Omicron surge. Uh, without adding restrictions, right? We uh, felt that we had done everything we could early, fast and upfront, got a wide spread of our community vaccinated and most importantly educated about what they should be doing to keep themselves safe. Um, so, you know, we have constant communication with our hospitals and um, sometimes no news is good news and we haven't heard any concerns from our hospitals um, as of recently, but because of our limited capacity, we're always keeping a close eye on things. As we mentioned earlier in the newscast, Kauai leads all four counties with a 10.3% positivity rate, which is more than double the state's positivity rate. Why do you think so many people are testing positive? I think it's because more of our population is getting tested. You know, we really work closely with our district health office and of course, big um, hats off to our National Guard. Um, but we have made testing very convenient. We have mobile testing vans that get deployed deep into our communities that um, are hard to reach. And of course, our convention hall testing center is so convenient. Most people are getting their test results uh, within a few hours. And so I think because of that, people tend to go and get tested more frequently. Um, and so, you know, not all is negative when we see a high positivity rate. It's also a good indicator that Many of our people are doing the right thing and getting tested. Mayor, we have a three-day holiday weekend coming up, and some folks here on Oahu or the neighbor islands might be going to Kauai for the holiday weekend. And what kind of things should they know about any restrictions or basically what's your message and what should they know? I think everybody knows what to do. And, um, you know, Kauai has uh, at one point early on was the most restrictive um, but we've really been uh, one of the least restrictive places to visit in the state of Hawaii. Um, there's no need to show your vaccine cards or negative test results to get into our restaurants um, and our bars and gyms. However, there is one restaurant that I suggest everybody go and try. <laughs> it's up in Kuke, but because they are on state property, uh, under the governor's order, they are required um, to check vaccine cards and our negative test results. But have a great time. Um, please be safe. Understand the ocean conditions. And um, thank you for visiting Kauai. I mean, it's nice not to have restrictions, but do you think because they don't require proof of vaccination for restaurants, that has led to the high positivity rate? Well, we haven't seen any difference from the other islands as far as uh, difference in clusters. I mean, the common denominator is whenever you get a large group of people together, um, you tend to have more cases. Uh, case in point, if we have a holiday, you can bet on it that you're going to see a, a surge of some sort. Um, perhaps Super Bowl is another event where people got to mix. Um, but I really think that at this point, people understand uh, the risk tolerance that they um, each uh, have to abide by um, and taking a good risk assessment um, and really, I think moving forward, uh, that is where most people's responsibility is going to lie, is understanding what personal health that they and their families um, are in and whether or not certain events may or may not be something they want to engage in. All right. Um, you know, we're talking about the indoor mask mandate today and Hawaii 
pretty much the only state not to announce plans to drop that. So what are your thoughts about that? Well, you know, right now we support the governor's position and it's under his order that, you know, when you're indoors um, in a gathering, um, you know, masks worked way before we had any vaccines and um, it's surely effective now. Um, but I know that the governor is taking a look at a phased approach to dropping restrictions. Um, I think right now uh, we're looking at other areas where we can loosen restrictions. Um, case in point for Koi County, we've been having internal discussions um, about our employees and the requirement that they show proof of vaccination or negative test results. I think um, having gone through two surges um, and understanding where we're at at this point in time, uh, we're taking a look at some of the low hanging fruit as far as restrictions to start peeling away, safe travels included. While well, you're following the governor's lead on the indoor mass restriction, your own opinion, do you think the islands might be ready by maybe the end of March perhaps to do that? You know, I think um, no matter what, I think uh, we've been in this over two years. And like I said, I think where we're at as a society and a community is like everything else. People have to have a discussion about how much risk they're able to tolerate and do that risk assessment. Case in point, I think I'm relatively healthy. I'm boosted, mm -hmm. fully vaxxed. All of my family members boosted, fully vaxxed. I feel safer in an indoor setting um, without a mask on. Now, another family member of mine may have uh, respiratory issues, may or may not have been able to get a vaccine. Um, so they're gonna have to decide uh, whether wearing a mask makes sense for them. And of course, in that sort of situation, we're talking about a higher quality mask that actually helps to prevent somebody from getting sick. You know, early on, we had to just wear a fabric mask and everybody had to wear a mask and that was primarily to prevent respiratory droplets from transmitting from person to person. But as we slowly start to evolve and coexist with COVID-19, people are gonna have to decide whether wearing a mask is the right thing for them. And that day um, is eventually going to come. We are one of the last states to have such a requirement. And I really think that most of our people understand what's at stake and can make the best decisions for themselves. And Mayor, before we wrap this up, just any final last thoughts, message you want to get out to the people of Kauai? No, as always, I mean, I'm the luckiest mayor, I feel, <laughs> um, not only in the state of Hawaii, but just in general, the people have just been tremendous, um, you know, and no matter what, we're a community that comes together and helps, helps each other out during the toughest of times and that really really helps uh, my team and uh, myself as well so i just want to thank the people want to tell everybody to have a great weekend happy aloha friday and um have a great time and be safe okay thank you so much Kauai mayor thank derek you. kawakami always a pleasure talking to you aloha